welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be going over Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez makeup beauty brand. We have some products, the foundation, concealer, brow, liner, lip souffle. We've got quite a bit. So if you want to see how this all came together using those products, keep on watching. Okay, so my order came in from Sephora. We, right here, started to open it. Um, we went ahead and purchased some products from Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. We'll pick that up later, I promise. Okay, we went ahead, as you can see, I bought it. I bought it. I don't even remember what I bought. What's that? Oh, oh that is heavy. I like that packaging. Okay. Okay, so. So these are the products that I purchased. I know my hand's kind of covering it, but just so you can see. We have the Always On, Always On, Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. We have the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. We have the Liquid Touch Corrector Concealer. Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer, excuse me. And then we have the Brow Harmony Crayon and Gel. This is the brow pencil situation. We had to pick up a lip souffle. I purchased the shade Inspire. And then this Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. So let's, let's get in there, okay? All right, we can go ahead and get started. We are gonna go in with the Illuminating Primer. This is what that looks like. It's kind of like, this one's not glass but it's like a, like a thick plastic, if that makes sense. So, pretty standard, you know? So let's, let's see. Just give it a little shake a shake. Oh wow, yeah. It's got like some shimmer in there. Looks nice, let's see. Oh yeah. probably even get away with if you don't really want to just throw some on and call it a day you can very luminous you know she said we're gonna illuminate and we're we're looking like dewy but fresh and it's like super lightweight doesn't feel heavy or thick nice and it has a little bit of a that you can feel tackiness if you will but not not a lot but that's okay just enough to kind of grip that foundation and speaking of so we have the foundation this also is not glass but it's okay it's cute i got the shade 170w because normally i'd take neutral but i kind of just changing it up and seeing going for the best oh I'm sure you give it a real good shake oh whoa whoa i don't know if it's just the oils coming out of this from the foundation look at that oh, those are coming out of this that's just one thing i don't like about that and it isn't a doe foot applicator just like that. It's not like a crazy heavy duty, thick foundation, but something that's pretty buildable, I guess. It is wicked liquidy, but like on the doe foot, it's not so bad. And I'm just going to apply everywhere. And then I'm gonna take a sponge because I didn't buy any of the brushes, because I just didn't want to. So I'm just gonna take my Juno & Co. So for online, not bad for the shade. Pretty surprised. I don't know if it's a little late, but in all realness, my tan is gonna go away, so it's fine. So besides the color being a little light, I feel like I tried with the sponge first and I'm trying with the brush, but it keeps wanting to come off on my nose and I keep adding more and I feel like it's just not wanting to stay. So for that price point, I mean, I've seen a lot of people use it and it looks fabulous on them. For me, it's just not really agreeing, which is fine. So that might not work. It's just not everything's gonna work out. That's okay. We'll just continue on. I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I got shade 130 neutral, which probably is gonna be way too freaking light. Whoa, this dope is kind of cool. It's like 
rectangular, but like triangular all at the same time. <laughs> it's different than most concealers, which I think is kind of cool. I'm just going to apply how I normally would. And see how that goes. That blended out so beautifully. It has like a nice finish and it's just, it doesn't sink into anything. I really like this. All right, let's see how it goes down the nose. It seems to be wanting to stay. It's 100% not my shade. It's looking a little pale. Put a little bronze up and see how this works. I'm gonna put on some powder just to kind of set that in. Once that powder's on though, it actually looks pretty nice. I think it looks better than it did at the start. So, I'm not gonna bake, I just wanted to set that in and kind of lock that into the skin. But it goes really well. And as far as I can tell, the concealer wasn't breaking up on my nose. And with the powder even on top, it's doing pretty well. I don't hate that. So I wanna just bronze real quick and we'll continue. All right, I've got a little warmth back into the face. All kind of blended on, blended on, blended in together pretty nicely. I mean, this is looking pretty nice. It's like redeemable. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna go with the brows. We have the, the Brow Harmony and I got the shade Deep Brow. So we have this dual ended situation here. You can see. So this side's full, this side's twist. It looks like the Benefit Goop Proof to me. So let's see. Oh, she's got that pigment. So the only thing is that it just doesn't come with a spoolie, which is fine, because it's literally a two product in one. So just to kind of blend that all out and together. She's cute, I like that. So let's try the gel portion, then I'll do my other brow after. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, yes, I like this. Oh, this is so n so nice. I literally almost said nifty. Shame on me. Okay. Oh, I like this moment here. All right, let me do the other one real quick. Okay, we threw in the, the brow. I ain't mad about it. All right, next we're gonna go in with the dangerous because eyeliner is so touch and go. Oh, this is cute. It's like a nice, I like the shape of it. it looks like a literal pen. And that is what this looks like. Go in with the eyeliner. Ooh. Okay, Miss Selena. Normally these kind of style pens for liquid liner, I feel like I find myself having to like put it back into the cap and then kind of like scratch it off to get more product in there, but that was like a one and done. We just fill in and we were off. But I like this. This is a nice liner. I'm going to just throw on some lashes so I can feel like a bad bitch. So we'll be right back. All right, I didn't get any of the blush because I am an idiot. Gotta stick to what I know and that's the hourglass, the ambient lighting blush in diffused heat. I like blush everywhere. Okay. All right. So lastly, we have the lip souffle. Inspired. That looks like very normal smell. Ooh. Oh, this is 
nice. Wow, the color, it's like super lightweight. It feels so like, it feels like smooth and soothing on the lips. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then we're just going to just take the Morphe one. Okay, I'm not mad about it. After just bronzing, like I said, the shade was a little bit light, but it's not so bad. Bronze it up, and then surprisingly, because this is so much lighter, it still worked out. I really like the concealer. I love how it blended into the skin so effortlessly, so smooth, looked really nice, amazing. I did like the primer. It was definitely illuminating, had a nice lighting shift into the skin. It really did just bring out like the dewiness, but like in a nice like angelic way, <laughs> if that makes sense. The eyeliner, I'm super impressed. I literally, for both wings, didn't close it and shake it back up. Boom, 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 boom. I liked it a lot. The tip was nice. I felt like it was easy to apply. It wasn't messy. Mm. I really like the brow product here. So you have like the pencil. It's just really nice. And then you have the gel. So you get two products in one, which is really nice. And I didn't go over the cost of anything. So let me, uh, let me do that real quick. Okay, so to break everything down, starting with the primer, it is $26, you get 0.94 fluid ounce. A little goes a long way, so not the worst, not the most expensive primer out there. No, obviously not the cheapest, but still. Then we have the foundation for $3 more at 29. Not too crazy with the amount of, like, of the oil that came into it. You do need to shake it, but make sure that it's closed because that, I found that to be my issue. I was like, oh, what's happening? It was a little light, but I made it work. So, and I'm sure once the winter months come in, I'll be back to this actual color. Not bad. And a little goes a long way. I literally did one dunk and all over my face. And I think, well, I think I went in a little bit after, just like a little couple touch-ups, especially where I had issues with my nose, where I think it's just dry. So, this bad boy, we have the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer for $19. A little went a long way, and I felt like I actually put a little bit too much, and it really blended into my skin very nice. But I found that it blended really, really nicely, and just kind of put it all together. And then once I just bronzed up my face, beautiful. The brow product, as I was just saying, for $22 for two products in one, so $11 for each one, essentially. Beautiful. I loved it, it wasn't too waxy, had enough pigment, and it just was easy. I liked it, and then I like the, the, the gel in it, so the brow gel. And I love the way it's just designed, and it's beautiful. And then for oh, $19, this eyeliner. I love it. I, as I said, I had to dump. I just did once for both sides. Didn't have to go back in. Hello. We love that. We love to see it. That's everything I got. I might switch up the foundation because it, it is pretty nice. I just think the shade. And then I feel like I just need maybe like an extra hydrating primer underneath the illuminating one just to really make sure that nothing's really dry or it doesn't need to vamp up my skincare and you know, do a little exfoliating. Who knows? But Overall, I'm really impressed with it. The concept of the brand, just kind of enhancing who you are, not to cover up who you are, is really nice. Like it's very simple, chic, elegant, sweet. You can vamp it up, I mean, with this souffle color. Are you kidding? Beautiful, beautiful. I think it was well done. I love the packaging. It's unique, it's easy peasy. If you will. I really liked it. I think she did a great job and I cannot wait to see what other products she'll launch. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you try anything out or have already, let me know down below in the comment section and let me know what else you'd like to see. It's about like 100 degrees in this room and we're really, really hot. So that may have had a little effect on this area, but um, still overall, the complexion is really nice. I dig it. A little goes a long way, honey. Okay, feeling rare. I know the joke was getting kind of old, I'm sorry, sorry. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.